Hey everybody, Hobo4Craft, otherwise known as Mr. Hobo here, and what I'm doing right now is a request from the subreddit Castit, which will be in a link below in the description if you guys don't know what I'm talking about. This video is going to be an introduction on how to get started into casting and how to, you know, actually follow through with that casting and Basically, I'm going to assume that you have all of the adequate hardware to do so. I mean, if you guys outside of this video want to talk, you know, uh, hardware or headsets or sound card, you know, any, anything like that, you can go ahead and contact me at uh, Hobo4Craft on my, on my YouTube page or the same name on Reddit or Hobo4Craft at AOL.com. I'd, I'd be happy to talk about uh, you know, hardware, any anything like uh, processors, things like that. But um, this is this is more of uh, how to get into it, assuming you have all that stuff. So I don't want to waste time. Um, starting with software, I myself use Fraps, but the thing about Fraps is that the files that it creates are very large, and therefore it puts a lot of stress on a hard drive. So this once again is kind of a hardware problem. What I do, just a little side note, I have two hard drives and uh, one hard drive has you know my game and everything on it and the other uh, hard drive has the actual recording so it's split up. You could also partition your hard drive but that's once again going into hardware. So Fraps is very good quality. You can maintain high FPS's and good resolution um, but the thing about it, it costs, I th when I bought it, it's $28, I think it's still the same. This is going to be a problem for people who don't have that much money, who uh, maybe don't have a PayPal account or a credit card, so that's a problem. Uh, probably your next best bet is going to be using streaming. Um, when you use streaming, probably the most... Uh, the the most popular right now is XSplit, I would say, but that's that's a beta product right now. So soon it'll cost money, but right now it's it's a good product. Um, the next I think would be Livestream or XFire. I think those two uh, are pretty much equivalent. But the thing um, t to know when you are using a stream is that you have to have a good inter internet and a good internet speed. If you don't, then you're going to have a lot of choppy, choppy uh, segments and a lot of lag spikes, and that's obviously not good. And um, so a good internet speed, you'll probably need 1,100 to 1,200 uh, kilobits per second. Um, so make sure you check that out. And also, if you're going to be using a stream, uh, which you can very easily have just in the normal general settings of, of the streaming device that you're going to be using. You can set up uh, automatically save these videos and then you'll have VODs which is really nice. Um, you can uh, have somebody else watch the video to make sure that what they see is high quality and uh, they, they, they think that it, you know, it's, it's watchable basically is the bottom line. Um, for uh, saving products, you know, editing and rendering, I just use Movie Maker. It's free, it's simple, um, but once again with that, you know, it's going to be really limiting your editing capabilities. So if you want something like Sony Vegas Pro, uh, okay, that'll definitely work, but that's going to cost you around a hundred bucks or so. Um, so yeah, I just use Movie Maker, works completely fine, but like I said, can't really edit much. Um, also along with getting uh, started, getting a little bit away from software is the location that you're going to be casting. You want to be isolated for obvious reasons. If you live with a roommate, maybe you uh, still live with your family, it would be best if you could maybe get in your room, something like that. You want to be comfortable to get high volumes without uh, worrying about disrupting anybody else or maybe feeling awkward. So you want to be comfortable and relaxed. That's when you'll have your best casting. Uh, that's when you're going to you know, be, be on top of your game. So location is important. Um, you also want to make sure you won't have a lot of distractions. 
such as maybe you have a noisy refrigerator next to your room or something. I I don't know something like that. So that's that's kind of common sense, but not uh, many people think of that right away. Also, getting started still. Uh, where you can get replays, there are a bunch of sites to get replays. Um, sc2rep.net is where I go mostly, but there's also sc2rep.com, and that's the letter two, by the way. Both both are pretty similar, and they have pretty pretty frequently updated replays. So it's they uh, have a good amount of replays per day. I don't have to go searching. Uh, very long to find a good one. Uh, they have ratings, small descriptions sometimes, but if you're casting, I wouldn't read the description because it might ruin something. Uh, there's playxp.com, which is normally in Korean, so I mean, uh, you should not have uh, trouble finding any replays, especially professional. But uh, let's let's go into getting uh, how how to cast itself instead of how to get started. If you guys have any more questions you can, like I said, contact me at the places I aforementioned, have been aforementioned. Uh, casting, I think the most important thing would be uh, to, to be yourself. You know, if I came in here like, hey everybody, let's get ready to run. Like, that's just cheesy. Nobody likes it. Just uh, be yourself and be the best version of yourself and eventually you will uh, find your voice I guess is a cheesy way of saying it um, I looked back at my you know my really old my really old cast like some of my first ones and I was so I was like hey everybody uh, Hobo for craft like I, I it was my first one I had never done anything before I was like well, why not try it and looking now I just really improve I listened to my own casts, which was painful, but really helpful, because you say, wow, this doesn't sound good. Wow, I say this a lot, which is kind of stupid. So, you know, just be yourself. Try to try to be natural with it, and eventually you'll, you'll uh, you know, come out of your cocoon and be a social butterfly. And going along with that, don't be nervous. You're talking to a computer. I'm staring at a screen right now of a random replay of me and I'm just talking to myself so no reason to be nervous um, important enunciate speak clearly nobody likes a mumbler one of the first things I notice and one of the first things I listen for when watching a cast is the person you know the voice if if the person's like okay guys this is good he gave me out of this is this guy's is gonna be I'm okay, nope, sorry, instantly turned off, do not want to look at this at all, I'm not interested, I don't care who's playing, so, you know, just try to be calm with yourself, don't stumble over yourself, you know, there's going to be the inev inevitable times where you're, maybe you're in the middle of a battle and you can't really handle up with the speed or anything like that, you know, that's that's understandable, but if there's... <laughs> If I click this and I'm flabbergasted and I can't handle myself, then you might have a problem. You might want to work at that, uh, which is an, which is another thing is practice because, you know, like anything else, casting does not come instantly. Um, I, w I would consider this a type of oral presentation, kind of public speaking in a way. So you're gonna you're gonna be a little nervous, which I, I guess is fine, but don't. Don't uh, psych yourself out, and you know, just just uh, just uh, do your best, and it will take practice. You you'll get better over time. I, I guarantee it, and that's one of my goals is just to do better each time I cast. Um, another thing I have here: try to not have any awkward pauses. If, uh, for example. you have an awkward pause like that the everybody just gets uncomfortable I, I mean I've watched games before because uh, I tend to watch uh, lesser known casters just to see you know how they're doing things like that and awkward pauses are a killer but at the same time you don't have to talk every second there are people I don't know how they do it who are just like okay it looks like we're gonna have a game of versus Mr. Hobo and this overlord is going to be going over to the left side it looks like he's making another pro we have one two three four five six probes over here and we 
And it's like, okay, that does not, that almost sounds as bad as an awkward pause. It's okay to have appropriately timed pauses. Um, and one thing you can actually listen uh, to for that is, is like professional commentators on television for basketball or football or on the radio, things like that. They have good pauses. Like, they know their job because they get paid a lot of money uh, to do it. So. You know, look for inspiration outside of just StarCraft II casting because uh, I don't think if I I can think of any casters or commentators who are as good as what they do as most of the commentators and uh, you know announcers from professional uh, sporting such as basketball, all those things. Um, so yeah, go ahead and expand your horizon. Try and get uh, yourself educated in that way um, one super important thing is observing you know since you're gonna be casting you also have to observe at the same time one of the number one things I see I'm you know, I'm gonna say this right now observing is one of my uh, worst abilities right I'm just gonna throw that out there uh, since I'm a player I've been an RTS player since Oh, for so long, I think over 12 years, um, you know, Age of Empires, you know, Age of Mythology, dating all the way back there, War, uh, Warcraft 1, you know, I'm pretty legit over here, but one of the worst things, one of the worst things is clicking all over the place, and you can probably hear my mouse too, so this is just unattractive, and going, okay, we have uh, one warp gate going down over here, you know, that's, nobody likes that. And it's probably even a nervous twitch, you know. Getting a nice highlight showing, okay, it looks like we have a warp gate going down. And you know, that's smooth, that's sexy, that's fine. But once you get, you know, into that 16 clicks per second mode, uh, that's it's just distracting. People don't like that. Uh, going along with that is jerking around a base or, you know, trying to go all over the map at one time. Really not attractive, not appealing at all. So try to use less mouse jerks like this. And try to get your keyboard on a nice slow pace so that you can, you know, hover over at a at, at a decent speed, but also it's nice. It's like a you know, like a panoramic shot, you know. So compare this, you know, kind of jerky to ooh, very nice, you know. So little things like that, observing you actually do have to practice that because it is second nature uh, to just be all over the place like you would normally watch a game you want to know everything that's going on okay well you the caster have to know everything that's going on but you know you have to show everybody else you're on the same page as they are and you can't you can't be all over the place you have to find a medium and that being said knowing what's going on you you have to make your minimap your best friend. I would say uh, every other half a second, I'm glancing down there. Now, it depends how often you play also, because glancing down there is second nature to me um, from Warcraft and, you know, all the games I listed before. So you might have to work on that also, but missing a drop, or a warp prism harass or something you know an expansion and taking out uh, it's so devastating if you miss it and that's happened to me before like once or twice I'm I'm casting oh there's a battle right here I'm having so much fun talking about what's going on and then I'm like wow so it looks like uh, Mr. Hobo was able to stabilize good push by his opponent though Gaimo Ga okay also that's a little side note know how to pronounce your uh, your your players' names, but then you go over, but he also has his third bay, oh, looks like he lost it, and that's just really awkward also, and people are like, well, how did that go down, you know, as a as a viewer, you feel you were robbed of the experience, you go, well, I could do a better than, job than this guy, so that's really important, is looking on the mini-map, and that also comes with your game sense a little bit, uh, being able to recognize timings and when things should happen. So, you know, being a better player really does 99% of the tra time translate into being a better caster. Uh, and let's see, cut down 
on the ums and the uhs and the uh, and things like that. I, I still have a little bit of a trouble with that, but compared to when I first started, so much better. And things like what I just did, which is like breathing really heavily or smacking your lips, it is so bad. Try not to do that at all. One thing you can do to help that is kind of bring the microphone away from your face a little bit. And repeating yourself, and like uh, some people have these phrases that they repeat a lot. Mine is, I know this, you guys don't have to torment me. Mine is, it looks like, you know, um, I say, oh, well, it looks like he's going to expand. It looks like he's going to go for this uh, forge expansion. Later I'll be like, oh, it looks like he's going to throw down three gates. Well, uh, yeah, it looks like that because he is doing that. So just say it, you know, get it over with. <clears throat> So, things like that. Um, another thing people say a lot is, <clears throat> you know, oh, it looks like it's a macro game. It looks like he's going all in. People are really dramatic in their descriptions, and you do not want to do that. Uh, because I myself, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, there's another thing. Don't cough and say excuse me while you're uh, casting. No, that's kind of a joke, but it's better that you don't cough. Anyway. One thing is, if someone's going over, say, uh, Gamo here was just, that doesn't sound right. I'm just going to call him G from now on. <clears throat> say G was going over to my base with uh, two two stalkers and a zealot. You know, that's a pretty typical harass if your opponent goes for uh, a standard gate and a cyber core first instead of a, an expansion. Me going, oh, it looks like he's going for a huge push. Or, looks like he's going for an all-in. Well, look, watch him go. Mr. Hobo has nothing. It's, uh, what are you talking about? This isn't an all-in. This is a completely standard build. So, you know, just don't question yourself. Just think before you speak. Think, oh, is this an all-in, you know? So that kind of also comes in your style. A lot of people are kind of sensationalist. I'm not going to name famous casters who are husky or you know, people like that. <clears throat> But other people are more analytical. To be honest, if you're um, a more casting instead of color commentary sort of person, excuse me, I'm going to go ahead. And if you're a casting instead of, you know, um, and just pure flash and action kind of guy instead of uh, commentary and analytical person, you know, you can try to milk it, but people really like a medium, but to be, to, to be completely honest, if you're all action and you can speak really quickly with good words, you know, you, and you seem to know what you're talking about, people are going to like you a lot more than someone who is slow paced and really analytical. And that's just the majority. It might be 51%, it might be 52% of people who would prefer that, but it's the truth. Um... You know, so just just keep that in mind. Try to try to keep a balance. People are gonna know right away if you don't know what you're talking about. So game knowledge is key. Know your stuff. And lastly, of this uh, completely unorganized tutorial is try to keep a positive attitude. Really cheesy to say, but you know, there's sometimes when I start a cast and maybe I mess something up somehow right away. And I, I'm i like, okay, well, I, I can't go with that. I just swore for 30 seconds straight. I don't even know how all those words came out of my mouth without me even realizing it, but I cannot take that. So you do another take, and it might happen again. And, you know, that might happen four times, but don't, you know, don't get uh, overwhelmed. Just just try to work it out. It's It's for fun in the end. So just have a positive attitude. Keep working at it. Like anything, uh, got to practice. So hopefully this helped you guys. If you need any other information on how to get casted, get casting, you know, how to start. If you want to know things, like I said earlier, I did not cover how many, how many watts should I have if I want this video card, stuff like that. I'd be happy to help. So just go ahead and contact me. You guys already know how. Home before crafts, honey.